my first words there are convincing and persuading. You gotta persuade people. I have to convince you of something. The whole contrivance of it is just so obvious. We can see the mechanisms. The strongest drives, hunger, sex, they're all about consuming and reproducing to give us incentives to keep placing psychological carrots in front of us and psychological whips behind us to keep us marching through the life game. And it's all just to create this attraction repulsion mechanism to keep us, help us navigate the mush. So over time now we've got this really abstract imagination kind of consciousness going in mammals. We've taken that to the, the next step, which is an educated knowledge base. So now for, let's say, 40,000 years ago, we weren't much better than a dumb animal. No vocabulary, just raw, crude, signaling to each other. 40,000 years later, land on the moon, organized conversation. I can even have a conversation about conversing and about attempting to persuade through argumentation. And if there's rules of argumentation and rules of logic and you can't contradict, and all this more refined and articulate and surgical kind of functionality. So our model of the universe, our mental model, our intelligence that functions to react to what we feel in its origin can now go off on little adventures by itself. It can go off on pure fantasy or it can go off imagining and it can engineer now. It can do all kinds of things with that imagination. Now it can imagine how to better construct something, or how to fix a flaw, or how to repair, or how to make something more efficient or productive. Now that we have that tool of knowledge, and understanding of the mechanics of the world. I know there's a huge number of people who are going to accept the mechanics. If I say the mechanics of the world, because they want to believe in Tooth Fairies and Alice in Wonderland and Hansel and Gretel, and they, they want to keep believing in the mumbo jumbo. But this is all it is. It's just psychology manifested on a reproducing molecule, attached to a reproducing molecule that is mission oriented to be a survival machine. We're all living in the same world. This should be like pissing in the toilet. I mean, it shouldn't be that much of a challenge, you know, getting this, this basic stuff right, you know, about what we are and what the real game is. So now we're smart enough, we got this information, now we can look at ourselves, our own psychology, we can dissect it, we can take apart the whole game we're playing, and it's a game. And it's a game that just there's no way to win. You're going to age and you're going to die for sure. Neither one of those things is any fun. Along the way, you're going to hit some suffering moguls and lumps and hills and sometimes mountains. Yeah, it's, it's going to be work getting through this life thing. If you think there's some way you can win this game as an individual player, then you're just too stupid for words. I mean, how do I even communicate with you? You can't figure out that all the pawns are of equal value. You can't. You really can't. I mean, raise your hand if you can't figure out that you're not the center of the universe and that whatever you possess, all these other organisms also possess and the value is in them. You're like saying you're the special diamond or something and that you can crush ten other diamonds and save you and somehow it makes a difference. No, none of that makes any sense. It's bullshit. You're like any other toy train coming out of the factory. The equation is how many toy trains are wrecking for your little engine that could bullshit. Specificing up hills and downhills for no good reason. 